lot of people have been asking me, and I have learned a pretty good method for getting it on PS4 and Switch, which actually works. So now you can get texture packs on pretty much every device. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, guys, now, obviously, you want to look for the texture pack you want. So I'm going to go ahead and download my texture pack, which would be this video right here. It has my skin pack, my texture pack, my 400, actually. Let's download my 400 sub pack. Now, all I'm going to do is go to the description, download the default edit. Usually, you will be led to a Mediafire link. Now, you, all you have to do is click download, and your texture pack will be right here. All you have to do is click on it, and it will immediately import the texture pack. Okay, guys, now when you download something or a pack, it will might end up being a zip file. So you want to go ahead and open File Explorer. Let me drag it over here. Go to your downloads or wherever you put the download, and it'll be just like this. Now, for this, you're going to want to go to View, File Name Extensions. Make sure this is clicked, and then change this last .zip part to MC Pack. And then you can just double click on it and it'll import. Now guys, if you're stuck with a .zip file and you can't change it, there's another way to import it, which is you click on your Windows key and then type in percent app data percent. Press enter. You want to go down to the You want to go back to you might end up in the roaming folder like me. So you want to go back to app data, go to local, and then you want to scroll down all the way to packages. Now, once you make it to packages, you want to go to Microsoft.Minecraft, which is right here. And just follow the same things that I'm doing right now. You want to go local state, games, com.mojang, and resource packs. Right here is where your texture packs will be. Now... All you have to do is right click and then select extract all and it will make it so that you can grab this folder and drag it into your texture packs now this should work okay guys so the next thing you might want to learn is how to share your texture packs how to get them to another device how to share them with a friend now this you can use mediafire or google drive like so now all you have to do is log in or sign up if you don't have an account you can just get basic you know you get 10 gigabytes i'll fill this out you guys can fill this out now if you go back to mediafire.com you log in you'll end up in this page and google drive you're you should already be logged in because you're using google okay so what you want to do is if you have your texture pack in um in your resource packs folder right you want to select your texture pack let's just grab this one for example you want to go to send to compressed zip file then you want to change this dot zip you can keep it if you want but you can also change it to the mc pack to make things a lot easier okay guys so all you need to do is drag it in and it should automatically upload it for you and it's that easy now you can just share the link either through text through discord through you know you can just type it in on your phone or other devices to download the pack same goes for google drive all you have to do is drag it in like so i already did it twice i don't know how i did that but it should also work you can share this right here share the link share it with certain people whatever you want to do but i prefer video fire it's pretty easy all you have to do is copy link share whatever you can share it to facebook twitter you can do whatever okay now a lot of you might be wondering yes pc i don't have one okay how do you do this on mobile how do you do this on switch how do you do this on ps4 xbox Let's get right into it. 
Okay, guys, here I am in my phone. Now, all I have to do is go to the texture pack download right here. 2K subs pack. It's pretty much the same, okay? It's not very difficult. Click on the link. It'll tell you where you want to download. Mine already goes to downloads. You know, I can click on it. Open the file or open the file location. Now, see, this is what it does on my phone. It's really weird. But look, oh, yes, look, look at this. So this automatically turns into a zip. I do not know why. But on what you can do on Android is you can select move. And then you go to where you want to move it. So I can go to games, calm that Mojang. And then resource packs right here. And select move here. Then I can also extract it if I need to. Okay, so this won't work. You can't just leave it here. You have to select it once again. Go to the top right, extract. If you can't find the extract button, just mess around. Try to find it and just extract it. And then it should end up working. Now, on iOS, it might be a little simple because you can just click on it sometimes. Most Android devices actually do work when you just click on it. My phone is just being weird and doesn't recognize the type of file. So I have to do this most of the time. And if you don't know where to find your files, all you have to do is either like swipe up and search files. My files like so. I'll take you to internal storage, games, combat mojang, you know. It's pretty simple to get there, at least on Android, so yeah. Okay guys, credit to Neo MC. I really learned this from him. Now I made some tweaks to his form of doing this so that it's a lot easier. But you know, also if you do need a more detailed switch tutorial, I suggest you go search up Neo MC. The link is on the top right right now. So go watch the tutorial if this gets a little too confusing for you. And just to tell you guys one more time, this works for both Switch and PS4. So pay attention, PS4 players and PS5 players. So guys, just to be clear, for this part, you will need a PC or a phone somewhere to load your texture pack in before you use your Switch. Now, you can just ask your friend to help you. It's pretty easy. And if you have a good friend, you know, they'll be kind enough to actually help you. But this is what your friend on the PC or mobile should do. So I'm going to link this video in the description. He's going to, and I'm also going to include the links that you need to do this. Now, you're going to want to use this hive and you just want to download your texture pack, right? So I already have mine downloaded or I'll just download it again because, well, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and download this. You can close this out after you've downloaded that. You can go to your downloads. Now make sure that your pack is also here. For example, I have this. If you have an MC pack, you can either rename it to a .zip using the view and then file name extensions and then changing the MC pack to .zip. Or you can use 7-zip to extract it no matter what. Now, after you've extracted both of them, now that you guys have extracted the files, you can delete the zips. You don't really need them. You want to drag your pack into this pack right like this. You don't want to drag it back into the next folder, but you do want to copy these things. If they have anything besides these three folders also, your texture pack might have a fonts folder. You want to go ahead and also copy that. So just copy all these. And while I'm going to pretend that it has a font folder, you want to take these and you want to copy these. Everything else, don't copy it because it might overload your Nintendo Switch. Now that you've done that, you can go back into this folder and replace everything there.
And now that you've done this, all you want to do is select everything, click send to compressed zip folder, and then it doesn't really matter the name, but change this dot zip part to MC pack. Now it is very important that you have view file name extensions on because if then if you don't do this, it won't work. You want to go to play create new world. Now my texture pack er, is just going to load in as normal, right? I'm just going to activate it. Make sure you press this button right here. This is the most important part of this tutorial. Make sure that is selected and click on create. Okay guys, now it's time to load up Minecraft on your Nintendo Switch. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing, so make sure to follow through the tutorial as best as you can. I'm so, I apologize for the bad quality. I don't have a capture card for the Nintendo Switch, so I have to use my webcam to capture it. But anyways, you want to go ahead and go to settings and you want to go all the way down to storage and cache data you want to make sure that this is all deleted there should be nothing in there okay guys so what you want to do after you clear the cache you just want to go to play friends and join the world where you have the texture pack now it's an option is going to come up saying download and join and that's exactly what you want to do after that you can go ahead and leave the world and you should be able to go to the servers and join the hive easily and it'll load your texture pack in now <laughs> i ran out of nintendo switch online so i can't really show this right now sadly but this should work so you might be wondering where's the oh crap where's the xbox part how do i download packs on xbox now i don't have an xbox myself so i couldn't really show this in the tutorial but i do have a friend that does know how and has made a video on it so a uh, link will be in the description to xbox and uh there should be a link on the top right right now too so if you were wondering how to do it on xbox there it is but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed and found this tutorial helpful. I tried my best. Um, I know I couldn't help completely with the Nintendo Switch and PS4 part because of my Nintendo Switch online. But hopefully this helped you guys. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.